that's always helpful, as it might be for any American to hit the 100 metre hurdles with. Yes, next action on the track, looking forward to this, one of the highlights. Events coming thick and fast, so much quality. The women's high hurdles, which features the Olympic champion, the world champion, record holder and the European champion. Predictably from this Lexi Group crowd for Ditaji Kambunji, European bronze medalist from Munich, Kevin Charlton from the Bahamas, world indoor silver medalist and Commonwealth Games silver as well from Birmingham. Nia Ali, former world champion from Doha, heartbreaking Eugene when she crashed out, disqualified after hitting the barrier. She goes in lane three. The new world record holder, Toby Amuzan. 12-12, who could forget it? She said yesterday she felt it had come. She even thinks going sub-12 is possible. Jasmine Camacho Quinn, who's had almost a perfect season, just the one blip in Eugene, where she had to settle for third. She's been immaculate since she goes in five. Brittany Anderson, world silver medalist. In lane six, behind Camacho Quinn. In seven, Kenny Harrison, former world record holder former Olympic and world silver medalist, never quite produced in a global championship what she is capable of. Tia Jones has had a fine season too, excellent last two races, victory in Lucerne where she beat Camacho Quinn in filthy conditions and finally in lane nine, Polish and European champion Pia Spryszowska. A great reputation for her as well. So European champion left of picture. We have the Olympic champion. We have the world champion. There she is, Toby Amazon. Also the world record holder. Meeting record, by the way, 12.39. Gail Devers, 22 years ago. On current form, that looks vulnerable. Complete silence then in the Letzigrund. So Amuzan there in lane four, Camacho Quinn to her right in five, Anderson, Jamaica in six. of hurdling she's I used the phrase yesterday when chatting to them about raising the bar it's, it's a silly thing to say but when you when you're going over hurdles but she's doing that you know she's taking everybody with her as well you look at uh, Tia Jones who's improving all the time as well just watch her she is so fast between the barriers leg speed is incredible gets down quickly and trail leg whips over Great technique, you combine those two things together. And she's one of those that has got that kind of natural feel for it. Which, if she needs to, when she needs to, she can make those little adjustments that you have to make as well. Good out of the block, she drives straight into that first hurdle, and then look, that just gives you a good view actually of you know the cadence, it's so quick. You don't have to have a long stride or anything, and then off the last barrier, reaching for the line. Wasn't too much in it, Tia Jones is improving all of the time. And as you said, Chris, a nice little birthday present there. Second place, Brittany Anderson, coming through for third in the end. Camacho Quinn, uh, she, I think I said, I'm going to have to raise my game a little bit. She's seen what's happened 
the Olympic champion from last year. Things have just moved on a little bit here, and she knows that she's going to have to go so to get back on terms with Toby Amasan, the American-based Nigerian champion for 22. Backing up the world title, and a beautiful way to finish the season. The Diamond Trophy, entry into the World Championships next year. And now the celebrations can start, and boy oh boy, we can expect some celebrations later on.